Hey, everybody. Before we get into the show, uh, just a quick reminder. My comedy special, Thin Lips, is out right now. Uh, I'm really happy with all the support and everything that you... I, do I feel like I'm reading like from a hostage? Uh, I'm really happy with all the support. And No, but I just want to make this as short as possible because they it gets long and annoying. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Thank you, everybody that has. Thanks to everybody that, uh, that's watched it multiple times. You're the best. I love you very much. Let's get into the show. The Rap Jack Black and Sag Daddy. I'm back at it with a fantastic podcast for your asses. Yapping in a trap like a rescue cat. And the rescued up like they're waiting on the Batman. You tuned into the dude who threw booze back. Blacked out, woke up drunk, covered in bruises. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, an odd fellow. The great white chubby, I'm becoming a marshmallow. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so sit back and relax. Cause like a broken arm, I got a cast now. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, you made a good choice. So enjoy, don't be annoyed. Now here's my dumb voice. Hey, everybody. Uh, yes, what this is another episode of Sag Daddy to Pod. And boy, am I feeling annoying today because um, we've been doing episodes. I hope you're, we've been doing episodes all fucking day. So I hope you're liking them. I hope uh, both me and Nicole's mental health uh, is deteriorating for the good. For the good of you, for your entertainment. I hope you're enjoying this. Do you like this? Are you happy? What about you, Nicole? Are you, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Another successful day in the books. Another successful day in the books. Four ups. Um, I thought you were really going to fight Nick. When he snapped at you, I was like, oh, oh, I saw some real, real anger in your eyes there. Well, I'm just not a comedian. And sometimes when I meet someone for the first time and I, I have past trauma from being abused as somebody on the ones and twos. So Sing it, sister. It's uh, whenever someone starts, to, I feel like they're talking. Well, I mean, you might relate to this just period. If I feel like someone's talking down to me. Thing it's sister. It triggers me a little bit. Totally. Totally. Um, I can't just be chill, unfortunately. And I loved how you reacted. You kept a grudge. And that's, that's <laughs> what it really is about. It's not about letting it go. It's about the whole time just giving him the fucking stink eye for that shit. And, you know, it, to Nick's um, uh, uh, defense. He was probably nervous, doesn't know how to, he never does podcasts. He doesn't know how to, he, he might think it's a part of it to shit on the producer, but that's not a part of our show. You and me, we're, we're partners here. Can someone make me and Nicole, uh, Walter White and Jesse? I was thinking about that. I'll put this up. I'll put it up. Oh, that should have been, we should have done that for Halloween. Right. <laughs> we should have. I'm Jesse, you're Walter, um, or whatever, whatever it fits. Uh, but it is a good episode. Nick Callis is here. Uh, we talk a lot about he's a he's also a white rapper, he's also a comedian, he's he looks like me if uh, you know he I could have been him if I if, I could have been skinny I could have been good looking if it weren't for those fucking problems my mental issues but either way we got a great episode we talk a lot about Eminem we're kind of gla glazing that dude a lot because. We both love the guy. We're doing impressions. It's amazing. I think it's funny. So I hope you like it too. Uh, keep watching the pod. Keep sharing it. We got a lot of big things on the way. Patreon. We're getting a new couch. The whole fucking deal. So keep sharing. Keep having fun. <laughs> keep having fun. <laughs> keep watching. And uh, also check out my... Spe well, we'll put a thing before that. Check out the special. And uh, thanks everybody for being a... Sagalomaniac, right? A sagal, sa a sagalinian, a, a sagaline. Um, a, uh, I don't know. What should we do? One last impression of the. Give me a celebrity. We'll try. <clears throat> a celebrity. Of Eminem doing a celebrity. We were talking about Eminem impressions. Blake we, Lively. Blake Lively. Uh, he's better at it than me. <laughs> don't do it oh, i love that uh blake lively takes a snake uh, I, don't know. I can't do it he can do it better than his I. his is one of the best i've heard he's got a Truly. great eminem impression do you like that bitch yeah the, it's so crazy i know it's very good um he, also his kendrick was really good too yeah his kendrick was good his j cole was good guys good at impressions so check it out <laughs> Thanks for being a fan, and we'll uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you. <laughs> First of all, I I'm a 
sucker for like comedy beef clickbait. Yeah. I don't listen to any comedy podcasts, but if I see like right. Andrew Santino responds to fucking whatever the fuck, I'm like, I'm right. curious right. what happened there. Well, you know, there's a big part of me that morally believes, you know, don't fucking mention someone's name. Yeah. Unless you're ready for them to mention your name. Okay. But then there's also people that I'm like, wouldn't it be so funny to talk about how Schultz talks black and how fucking... Just, you said it. Let's just do it. Well, I did it on I did it on fucking... Um, I was saying this on the Canon episode too, but they, they asked me to come on Legion of Skanks and mm-hmm. cause they're doing, they were doing a rap battle at Skank Fest, whatever. And I like, I like wrote a rap for it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause they asked me to write a rap. Yeah. So I was like, let me just take a bunch of shots at comics. Yeah. That's fun. And one of them was like, uh, I think I wrote like, um, coat switching, like Andrew Schultz or something like that. Some yeah, bullshit see, like that. That actually makes it more justified. Cause I'm of the mind that like, if you say something in a joke, Right. Even if you mean it and it's true, uh-huh. you presented it through a craft, so the way that people are to receive it is as a product. Right. It's not serious. Right. But if you just say it on your podcast, like Kevin, uh, Kevin Brennan type shit, that is a different thing. Well, <laughs> that's also what we do here. I mean, we're, 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 I'm, always, I'm always just saying shit. That's I love fair. just talking shit. That's a big theme for this, for this day. I just keep talking about how I'm talking shit all the fucking time. Yeah, see, I, here's the thing. I love... <laughs> Doing it. And I think I'm one of the best at it, but I don't want it. I just don't want It's not that I'm not, I don't believe what I'm saying. One just, of the best at it not. is hilarious. Like, I, I think mean, I'm like I, fucking really good dude, at it. Dude, in, in, we're on the road going somewhere. Oh, there's, the a, there's a list and we just go down it. Like they're going to get yeah. it and they're going to get it hysterically and passionately. I also think there's like just like a difference. I don't know. I, I just like doing it. If it's funny, it's funny. But yeah. if you're like, this fucking guy. But I also have like, I love comics and I don't want to shit on anybody and everybody's trying hard, you know? All that's true, but also it, I think it has to be funny or, I mean, at least this is my standard. If it's not funny, I'm not going to say it because if it, I would feel like such a bitch yeah. being seen mad about somebody sucking or somebody succeeding. Like, right. I don't want to be associated with bitchly ass feelings of like <laughs> being like, ass. why do they have that? Like <laughs> fucking no, loser. Fuck that. fuck that. Fuck that. Or, or even they're not that good. Or even, right. or even like that guy is a fucking piece of shit. Like who is fuck off. Who cares? Right. Right. You care, dude. Like sometimes my mom will like send me like a fucking screenshot of like some kid's Instagram. Yeah. That, like went, was from my hometown and just some shit that happened to him or he's trans now or right, whatever. Right, right. And I'm like, mom, you're a grown woman. Like this is loser. I shit. know that you, that your mom gives to, a shit. She's like, did you that's hear crazy? Your mom's to going, gossip did about you hear? People? Yeah. It is funny though. Cause my sister, um, works at, well, my sister, like she'll she'll send me like comedians sometimes and be like, yeah, isn't this funny? And I'm like, that guy's a fucking hack. Mm-hmm. Or I'll be like, I caught myself being like too many times being like, that guy's an industry baby. He's getting pushed up for uh, no yeah. fucking reason. And I'm like, ooh, what a hater do I sound like? See, I There's never the fine be line guy. between being a hater and having fun talking shit. That's the thing. It's got to be funny. <laughs> I had to make that correction with myself too because my girlfriend is a big like just TikTok person. Like she loves. Oh, really? On, not on TikTok. Just oh. res- like. Uh, is, she, is your girlfriend Charlie D'Amelio? Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want the episode to start yet. <laughs> God damn it. Charlie D'Amelio? Who we the did. fuck is that? What are you I don't talking know. about? I have no idea. Charlie D'Amelio is a guy. Ray? Charles, Charles Char- Charles D'Amelio? I went to high school with a guy the, named Charles D'Amelio. Would, the physician? Um, no, Addison Ray can get it too. <laughs> get, get I mean, what? I don't know. <laughs> Because neither do I. <laughs> uh, are you are you rapping at all? Do you have any? I do. Have anything um, coming mean, out. I got a mixtape of I think fourteen songs. That, now, is that a mixtape or is that just a fucking? You know what album? it is. What it is 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 every song I really really liked. Or you know when you're listening to a song and right away you go I want to rap on this. Yeah, it's fourteen of those. I think half of which are like properly mixed. Sorry just, for the wait. Yeah. I just don't, I haven't done anything with it. Because I think about everything through the lens of like, what is this going to be received as? And uh-huh. if I put it out this way, is that its best chance to yeah. do well? And I haven't figured that out. So, you but I keep rapping. Up. Do you have anything that like, you know how Little Wayne like lights a blunt before he raps on stuff? Mm-hmm. 
I got you got anything? I got me would be eleven takes of improvising random like <laughs> me talking to people that aren't there, and then I listen back to them and I'm like, yeah. this one's funny, and I then have, I go, this is not. Good. I have me eating a Thanksgiving meal before every it's song the same I have. one. Clink clink. It's just me going. <laughs> I go. <laughs> okay, let's get in. <into>, yo, <laughs> how <laughs> did you finish yo. the whole meal? Yeah, before I go, the song starts. Oh god. So every song is so every song, 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 song starts with a turkey. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to rap, but I'm like burping because so I can't. So if you listen to the whole album, did you eat 24 turkeys if it's a t- double press? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the last song, you're just vomiting. I'm like, oh, God, I'm so. <laughs> it's June. What Why do I, I do like this? eating, drinking milk with my fucking turkey? Should we drink a gallon of milk right now? I'll a do it. gallon of milk right now. If you want to drink a gallon of milk, <laughs> there's three ways to go about it. The first, we way, had a great idea for a podcast, and it just didn't. It was too. It just wouldn't be able to work. Mm. You know what I mean? Ours? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh no. yeah, we had a great oh, idea for a podcast where I we were going to wanted to still do that. Still a good idea. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it. Hey, maybe we'll do it. I think both of us would have to have nothing else going. So on. fun. Yeah. Which. Yeah. Exactly. So this was our idea, Nicole. Um, we were and chat. Pay, pay, pay attention. Pay why, don't you, attention. why don't you pay attention? It's really frustrating. Oh, to have. Nicole didn't like the snapping. I, well, you know what? That's why I'm glad I did it because I, it feels Careful. to me like you don't get enough of. You know? Re- oh, oh, she has a mic. Never mind. Oh, Take everything that I just say, said back. Say what no, the no, no. Fuck you didn't realize feel, I don't watch this. Who run the world, girls? Who run the world, Nicole? girls? I was just waiting for you to finish your point so I could respond. <gasps> no, 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 not finish in that case. I, I want to say that I think that you're the heart and soul of this podcast. Sure. And I agree. Uh, I was being facetious. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention though. Good. <laughs> that means sarcasm, by the way. You <laughs> we, fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> we had a we had an idea for a podcast where we would. Uh, it was we would focus on a rapper that we both like, right? And we talk about the rapper. It always ended up being Eminem. We'd always end up talking <laughs> about Eminem. Eminem. And we would rap. Uh, we would both write some verses over one of their songs. And we wouldn't tell them which one we're picking and blah, blah, blah. So you go, this is the instrumental I picked and let me go. And then we'd rap. And uh, it was such a good idea. But it was, it was hard idea. work. It, would it be, was a lot of work. It would be hard work. And also it was... I think had we had a Nicole, we might have been able to pull it off. But yeah. we didn't. It was just kind of us. It was just us. There being was no one even engineering lame. it. It was just us engineering. Yeah, we didn't know if it sounded good or anything yeah. like that, which it didn't. I remember. I, I think I got it to sound fine, but after not great. a while, and a lot of a so lot of equalizing. You were so the equalizer much. too. I was. I was. You were the equalizer <laughs> three. You had to do a lot of that shit. I did, and it's not something I'm good at or no. really know how to do. It's a very good podcast if you if you really have nothing else going on. And can just roll in, do it, and go home, and that's all yeah. you gotta do. Yeah. And then someone exactly. sends you, here's the four takes, exactly. pick your favorite. Yeah, yeah. But I, I couldn't do all And that. I don't know about you, but when I'm writing my verse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just, it takes me forever. If I'm writing Does a it? song, if I'm writing a song... I'm like, it takes over my entire life. And really? I'm like, I can't think of jokes. I can't think of anything. I have to finish this song. I have that in terms of my focus. And it can literally, I'll be working on something I should be working on. And then it'll strike me. If I'm listening to music in the background or whatever. If I get that feeling to do it, I can't step away from it for like two and a half hours. Yeah. And then I'll just keep coming back to it every day. But not because I need to finish the verse. Just because I'm like, well, what if I performed it this way? Or what if I did this? But like the verse itself never takes me long. Yeah. That's my favorite part. That's kind of the well, part I like. That's most. like easy. You can be like ba 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 da 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 da. But mm-hmm. you're like, how do I fucking cut? Yeah, I'm I'm working on it for a couple of days. Cut to me being like, all right, I'm gonna finally show everybody. And it's like, yeah, poop, beep, poop, 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 poop. and I'm like, it took a couple of days. <laughs> well, actually, normal. also I'll record it like on my phone, yeah, just in front of the laptop. And then if I like the way that sounds, then I'll just listen to it as I'm walking to sets and stuff. And then maybe I'll send it to like you or my brother and, or another friend. Right. And then if they go like, that's sick, I kind of am like, all right. Done. Fine. Done. I'm going to take this to a studio, pay $300 to like get it like yeah. recorded professionally. Yes. Yeah. But then I got to always, it's even more expensive to be a rapper than a comic. Way more expensive. It's so much. I mean, 
if you're a rapper and you're really doing it, I'm, I bet you got a guy that like, mm -hmm. you know, studio time is like, yeah, 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 yeah come in, whatever, right. we'll, I'll charge you a hundred bucks right. maybe for the whole right. day, like whatever. Like if you're like a known guy and stuff, but with a comic, you know, we got to make our own way. Fucking, mm -hmm. I got to, I'm, uh, I, you know, these cameras, right? Nicole? You also can't like just, I mean, you can, but you won't be a stand up. but you can't set up your phone and drop bars and then blow up. And you uh, can right. do that as a rapper. Well, I mean, there are there are comics that are on TikTok that will perform in front of a fake audience. That's and, true. And add in laughs. But do the, do they have the if they have a two hundred thousand followers? Do they have the equivalent ticket sales of that when they go on the road? They don't usually. No, no way. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are like that, like. You know, it's so funny, man. This Instagram bullshit, it's man. Bullshit. It's honestly it's, a you hit, fucking you hit, cash grab. It, fucky, it's a grift. <laughs> it's a grift. Um, when you 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 work so hard to get like what a hundred thousand, let's say, right? right. You get a hundred thousand followers. You work so hard to get your oh, your precious mm. oh, your mm -hmm. precious one hundred thousand yeah. followers. Yep. That's all I want. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I want. Mm. And then. You're still not selling out on the road. <laughs> you're like selling what the out. Fuck, selling yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, you're like selling. Oh my like, god, how about selling twenty seven tickets yeah. in like a mid market club? Well, because with a hundred and fifty thousand, dude, I hit a hundred and thirty thousand YouTube, and I could pretty much go anywhere. And did you get a little? I did. It's fucking awesome. Plaque. I made a video of it. It's not done yet, but it's. It honestly feels so cool. Cool. It feels so cool. To I have want a that. plaque. You'll get there. You'll get one. Instead of the plaque in my fucking teeth, am I right? Oof. Oof. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> now you know let me it, ask you. Know what it was? You. you know what it was? Or do you want to stay on that, or do you want to move? I on? want to stop talking shop. Okay, I agree. Let me ask you. Hit me. You don't do drugs. No. I don't. You have diabetes. Fact, correct. What's that like? <laughs> What's not doing Forget drugs? The drugs. <laughs> Forget the drugs. I don't want to. It's crazy because when you think diabetes, if you if you somebody on the if somebody yeah. came up to you and said, I know one person on hilarious. that couch has diabetes. Who do you think it is? And by the way, I'll say this. If somebody came up to me and said one person on that couch has diabetes, who do you think it is? I would immediately guess you because I would know. That the only reason they're sure. asking me yep. is so that they can say, no, you're wrong. I love that you have a really clever response to the question you made up. <laughs> you're like, I would know yeah, that welcome. this mystery man welcome would really guy. mean that you're welcome. the guy. <laughs> welcome to the show. What's that like? Have you had that your uh, whole life? Since I was six years old. So pretty much. Um, what were you doing at five? Fucking uh, living it off, dude. <laughs> was, what were you eating at five years cakes. old? Yeah, you're like Jesus no, Christ. You want to know it's what's like when someone has it? a stroke at 18? You're like, what yeah. the fuck have they been doing? What a puss! <laughs> no, no, that's what you no. say. Yes, no self hate yes, talk. No bad, no bad hate talk. Um, any weasels. Whenever I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, no, you know how I got diabetes? It's so it's so bizarre. So basically, if you can get type one, you have like an antibody that makes you susceptible, you have like a predisposition to it, and then something that affects your autoimmune system can like unlock it. It's like a mutant superpower gene, but not good. Whoa, yeah. So I got chicken pox, I think, when I was like what? six, and it just like shut me down. And then like when I was like through the fever of it all, it had like unlocked diabetes. Oh my god, yeah, it sucks. Who dude. gets chicken pox anymore? Nobody anymore. <laughs> what was chicken pox like? I bet that's. I don't you don't remember. Even remember I, just, I think I was just like clucking Aww, around. Your mom was. <laughs> you're like. So it looks like he's got chicken pox. <laughs> what? It would be so much better if that's what it was. Yeah. You're like, oh, he's gonna act like a chicken. And there'd be like sitcom days. episodes where it's like, I got it. I told my boss I have chicken pox. You're like, poor mom. Yeah, man. but they're walking by right now. And yeah. You like, you go, <laughs> no, hey, boss. I'm sorry. Well, looks like Mr. Callis has chicken pox <laughs> today. Mm, I don't know. Your poor mom, man. She went when when you got a little kid. He's got chicken pox. Yeah, dude. Just scrub them all over. He's all scratchy. So the diabetes thing is the is is hard for parents because, and they say this when you get it, they're like, your parents get it too. They don't take the shots, but they got to learn every. Here's the thing: diabetes is like the one illness where you have to be as knowledgeable as the doctor that handles it. Why? Because you have to know. Uh, 
carbohydrate ratios. You have to know nutrition. You have to know uh, how these things like actually like you have to be a scientist for your own body. You can't just like eat something. If I get diabetes, You're I'm just toast, I'm, just, I'm brother. toast. I'm just I'm just counting down the days, yeah. dude. I'm lucky. I, I, this is gonna sound annoying, but like I'm lucky that I got it young because I just integrated how to deal with right. it. If I I had a dude, my cousin is like twenty something. He got it right now. I'm like, oh, it's gotta be the fucking your worst. Cousin got it in Greece. Yeah. He just Greece. got diabetes type one out of nowhere. Oh my god, that I was sucks, actually, dude! I was looking something up on the way here, just out of curiosity, because uh, I was in North Carolina yesterday, and dude, forty one percent of West Virginia is clinically obese. Really? Isn't that an insane number? Yeah, but everybody's it's obese. Come but on. that's bad. The number <laughs> that's like very bad. Yeah, but the number is no. But we should all be alarmed. Don't, don't say the number is. <laughs> you know, the, and the, the number, number is isn't. how we tell. I'm for sure obese. I'm morbidly <laughs> obese. You're not morbidly obese. I actually thought one of my first rap names that I wanted to go as was morbidly obese. It's very long. It's a lot. Yeah, but it's very like '90s. Like, no, it's oh, cool. Shit, I, I like it. I don't think it's bad, but it's so much. To morbidly say. a beast. Have you heard morbidly Eating a beast? A feast. I got a crease. I'm gonna increase my speech. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Are we doing this? <laughs> Maybe you jump in with a freestyle anytime you want. But um, um, I think I'd prefer a beat. But I'll I can go acapella. These beats. Uh, well, uh, fuck. What was I about to say? Mm. You got a cousin in, in Greece with diabetes. 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 And is is there anybody else in your family have it? My dad has it, but he got it, dude. He got it like in his sixties. Oh my fuck that! Extra fuck that because he wasn't. He walked out. So I don't want any around. of that shit. No, and I don't I like think... getting sick when I'm old. You won't. <laughs> I'm won't. not gonna make it. I won't make it to old. I had a weird idea. What if um what if like whether or not you go to heaven is just if at any point in your life someone goes, God bless you. You know what? It. You go, you got lucky. God goes, you got lucky. Uh-huh. That you were you were guy. right there. You're, you were right sarcasm, there. You were gonna go to hell. Still... But that guy said, God bless you, and, and you got in. Skinnier your oh. teeth. You're actually the biggest piece of shit here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't even get to. You got, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to decide what we're going to do with you. Mm-hmm. Because I'm against it. But Where do you think that babies are before they are alive? Like when a kid is born, where was he just? You're just nothing. I think you're nothing. And then you live a shitty life, and then you die, and then you're nothing again. Why do you think that? Because that's, I'll accept that, but and that's pretty passionate, it sounds. Like, you seem convicted in that. But, like, what makes you go, that's it? Nothing. You tomorrow, think it's most I'll likely? probably disagree with myself. Okay. Like, tomorrow, I'll probably have a different view. I'll be like, we're actually, we'll be all connected, and our souls are going to, and then all of our knowledge are going to be together. Do you think somebody, because, do you think anybody knows? Not, not like they know, but, like, do you think anybody's right? Because everybody walking no. around has like a different idea. Do you think one of the ideas available to choose from about what happens to us when we die on Earth right now is the right one? No. Or do you think it's like nobody could even conceive <laughs> of what it would be? No, no one can know and no one can see. Al Pacino recently died and then came back to life or some shit. Really? And he's like, there's, he's like, there's nothing. Well, because you didn't die. So why would you know? Yeah, if but you're he's here. so, he's so, I read an article that he's like, He's like confirmed. There is nothing after, and then you come back. Yeah, but I don't trust it because he came back. So how so do we like, know he ever died? He might have just been. The, well, they the told him sleepiest. He's like, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. They're like, Mister Pacino, I died. I wish I could do it. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I died. God does not exist. God, he was here. He said you're dead. I said I right. went there, and it's Buddha. Buddha was the guy. Buddha was the guy. I'm a. It was <laughs> Buddha was the guy. Dunkachino. <laughs> Have you watched that? Dude? It's the best thing no, ever. What is that? So you know the movie Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler he plays both parts. It's fucking awful. Uh, <laughs> so, dude, that in that movie, which is, I'm quoting Ted there. Uh-huh. Is, you remember the scene in Ted where he, where he's like, "That's my buddy John, not the lobster, the guy working him." That part. <laughs> they also talk about fucking Jack and Jill, and they're like, "What's Jack and Jill?" And he's like, "It's the movie with Adam Sandler he plays terrible. both parts." Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. That is so a bad fucking, movie. So in that movie, he like runs like an ad agency or something, and he's doing an ad with Al Pacino. And so, fuck, you gotta pull it up. He's like, they're not gonna pull it up. It's a Duncan. It's a Duncan Chino is like the new 
Dunkin' oh, thing. And so right. he does a commercial where he like, Dunkachino! Give me that Dunker, Dunkachino! And he's yeah, like rapping yeah, yeah. and dancing and it's fucking hysterical. <laughs> and then afterwards, it cuts to them in the office watching and he goes, Burn this. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> he's fucking great. Picture him in hell. I'm in hell! I'm in hell. I'm in hell. I went to hell because when I was 21. <laughs> He's Trump now. Because when I was 21. I was 21. I molested a penguin. <laughs> Didn't think anybody would catch me. Molested a penguin, which is wrong because penguins wrong. love. Penguins are the only ones. I like that penguins. Everybody, t- anytime someone tries to tell you that gay is good, like everyone is like, it's okay to be gay. They're always like, penguins, penguins are, are gay. gay. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, are we living by. Oh, uh, I live my life by what a penguin does. Right. Hmm. Right. I don't think penguins pay their taxes. Is that okay? <laughs> that sounds know. like <laughs> something a two year comedian would come up with. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So if we're living by what penguins do. I guess I'm going to slide down an icy slide. And into uh, the water. You know, what, you know what my biggest comedy pet peeve is? It's mm-hmm. like a new comedian thing, and especially like a girl comedian thing. Is, oh, um, come on, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tell me. All right, dude. I'm fucking <laughs> pissed at you now from that, dude. <laughs> I'll turn my back on you. Because your new girlfriend is here? <laughs> That's Nicole, the second I actually, time. I actually like you more <laughs> than I like this guy. <laughs> By a lot, actually. <laughs> That's the second time. Someone thought me and Nicole were lovers. Stop that, dude. No. You don't get a Tell fucking me. snowball's chance in hell with that dime over there. <laughs> He's trying to I'm win really you. sorry. He's trying to win you back. I'm tr- I am hard. <laughs> hard trying really hard. After snapping try harder. Out try I harder. will yes. try harder. Is, is going in on, on Sag Daddy No, because I'm her best good? friend. No, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Ooh, Nicole. That, that feels weird to hear. <laughs> you love it. I do love I it. love it. You're jacking off. <laughs> this guy's actually beating it. Ooh. Okay. Well, Tell me what women saying. comedians do, you son of a pig. It's not girl. It's not just girl. You chauvinist pig. Uh, chauvinist, chauvinist pig. pig. Drove in his big Lincoln sound car till it went over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet you do. Chauvinist pig. <laughs> What's the rest of that? Uh, drove in his big Lincoln T- sound car till it went over the bridge. Dude, he's so you good. Could, you could make it up and it would be cool. It's so good. Well, we used to do a thing on the... We'll get back to your stupid chauvinist bullshit. It's not good. Uh, Cut it. Cut we, it from... Dump it from the whole app. Well, we used to do a thing on our Never Happened podcast where... What we were doing, we were like, you can really make an Eminem... You can do Eminem by if you pick like a celebrity doing something. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. What is it? It's like, took Ben Affleck. Uh, no, that's bad because I can't think of anything with Ben with um, Affleck. Um, here, give me a celebrity. Okay, uh, 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 Sydney Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney. I was at a concert. Yeah, you yelling you, Sydney you, Sweeney. This is what it is. Pick You're me, at Sweeney. a place, celebrity, and you make them do something or you have them do something. Yeah, uh, yeah. You go. Uh, I just start teething when I see Sydney Sweeney. I scream, "Pick me, sweetie!" <laughs> I flip, start I got beating. Got a teeny weeny. Peeny. I'm gonna put in, in until it turns into titties. a giant penis. Cause I saw Sydney Sweeney and I started to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Twisting my dick around so much it looked like bread when I Chapel started to Rome. need it. Chapel Rome. I went and got dome from Chapel Rome in my own home. In my own home, in a mobile home. <laughs> I got I got I got dome from Chapel Rome in a mobile home, and then I called her on the phone and said. <laughs> and I said, why don't you moan? Ho, why don't you moan? So I can get off when I start to whack off. <laughs> Blast off. <laughs> it's so it's fun to do that. It's the most addicting thing in the world. It is so fun. You can't stop doing it. What's At another all. celebrity? John Mulaney. I had a baby with John Mulaney. And then I caved in his skull. Caved in his skull. And, and, the, and what came out was gravy. She was maybe. gravy. She was gravy, maybe. Walking around, talking to a zombie baby. Ripped its head off. <laughs> <laughs> Threw it at Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Turned into a cannibal. He does. He chewing did, it with a man. You can't. You can't. The rules are. Oh, you, you can't do you one. You can't do yeah, a celebrity yeah. that he it's already right, did. I need, I need different celebrities. You have to go, uh, Michael Che. I Michael tur- Che turned is gay. likely gay. Turned gay for Michael Che. I fight him today, <laughs> but I left my switchblade. At Pelicans Bay. At Pelicans Bay. (laughs) (laughs) 
a place a Tell celebrity me doing something is the Eminem impression. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> Cho- Chauvin is pig. Chauvin is big. Lincoln. Say Sound what you're going to say. Because I'm, I'm actually interested in what this. What was I going to say? What do new comics do that you're upset about? Yeah, it's I don't care. But it's a thing where you go, where they go, say the punchline with an up speak, mm. and then where the laugh would be, which you got to just sit in. And they go, deal. They, they go, go uh, um, they, but, it's literally, uh, uh, yeah, oh, that is a, that's a, been a pet peeve of mine since the beginning of time. It's been a pet of peeve of mine since the beginning of time. Do you actually want me to begin to rhyme? <laughs> Since the beginning of time, I'll go on Nickelodeon right now and show your girl Slime Time live. It's crime time now. It's my time now. It's my time now. What a my time. Wow. Sitting on the beach, drinking it, sipping it up in a sippy cup, not giving a fuck. And yeah. my middle finger isn't stuck because that's what he says in the actual song. Oh, you fucking. I you fucked fit. it up. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I stole it. Eh, eh, you lose. I get kicked off the show, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and then he he stuck doing that. Damn. Where's my car? I my got car. kicked off the show, dude. Where's now my I can't car? Can't find it no more. With Ashton Kutcher, I'm an actual butcher. Yes. <laughs> Sean William Scott can suck my fucking cock. Long. <laughs> <laughs> Sean William Scott can suck my fucking cock on a cot. I got a... With a box. With a fox. With a fox. Megan Fox (laughs) sucking me off. (laughs) Dr. Seuss. Well, Megan Fox sucks me off in a box. What's like a fun celebrity name that lends itself to like... President Biden. President Biden. President Biden. I said Biden to President Biden. I said Biden Biden to President Biden. (laughs) I bet you Biden. Wait, are you looking at me with my crotch? My fucking balls. I'm going to start fighting. Everyone biting my style. They're biting my style. Kamala. Kamala, Kamala Harris. Ka- it's, is it Kamala or is it Kamala? Kamala Harris. All y'all aware of this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to diss Kamala Harris when I spit. Shit. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, that is annoying. I don't like when comics do that. When they when they go, oh, the actual pun, the punchline's not that good. So the mm-hmm. actual punchline here is that I'm. I said something crazy, and I'm just moving on and with I'm my just sentence. Moving on from it, and I'm just moving yeah. on, and that's what's cr- uh, that's the it's, crazy. It's so cool thing. that I'm just dropping that there, and then and uh, and, uh, and uh, so that's so that mm-hmm. is a big one. So, so that's, that's uh, or or it'll be like um. So I guess we're doing that now. Oh, God. What is that? That's, what does that mean? If any comic says that, he has invited a girl to a bar telling her that there's more people there, and it's not going to be Hilarious. more people, and it's just going to be him, and then he's going to rape her. Hilarious. Sorry. Cancel me, chat. Cancel him. Cancel me, chat. Cancel him, but it happened. You want to Gen Z me, bro? <laughs> that is, that's a... That, Cancel me, huh? Gen Z me, bro? That's a, that is a line that's on TikTok that... uh. Gen Z is using to like call Eminem cringy. And they're like, want to cancel me, bruh? Gen Z me, bruh? I don't. You know what the, when you're like an older celebrity, like criticizes like the, the young generation. Yeah. It's as cringe worthy reversed. Like, it's, you know, it's it is worse cringy. for young people to go like, boomer. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Cause it's cooler to be like, I don't care. I don't know. He's just making a song. You just That's really, how you win that. Probably has Gen a lot Z. of life experience I don't know about Gen from all Z. those jobs and wars. Gen Z. I'm about to go on a frenzy. Gen Z. In men's jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Gen Z. I'm about to go on a frenzy C. in men's jeans. Getting hep C from a guy <laughs> in men's jeans. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was Gen Z. <laughs> and I, I, I met this girl Jenny Who was Gen Z Gotten eaten by sharks in a frenzy <laughs> Don't <Yes>. tempt me <laughs> Yes Drinking Henny <laughs> Okay This is such a good Eminem impression It's so fun to do And it's just so fun to do And it's only, that's only the one that I think we talked about this too There's, there's difference There's different there's Okay the, so let's go through it So there's early Eminem uh-huh. Which is there's like that Show the the of his pig Drove in his big Lincoln. Throwing know. coasters off a roller coaster and Costa Nostra. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That. Then there's, is there a Marshall Mathers LP? Where he's like, yeah, it's more like. It's that, but like kind of a. It's more. Uh, it's like more in there. It's yeah, like deeper. It's, like, it's deep. 
It's more deeper. And the schemes There's, would go like... And he's more personal. He's like, yeah. my mom's got it done. Mom. My mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> I gotta, once I get like a... The drugs. The hunt. I went home and my mom was going off. So do not, my mom do was not going, try to push me. If you going to come, then yeah. I'm going to step. I think step. that's more Eminem show. That is a little bit later. That's yeah. more Eminem show. Yeah. You might see me. Yeah. Uh, you might see me jogging. You, you might, might see, see me walking. walking. You might see me. Walking it, a dead rock by the dog the with his head chopped like, off in a park with a spike collar. Holler, holler Cause cause at him because the not, son of a bitch won't quit barking. Yeah, but it's not that. It's, it's not, not as the, high. It's not that lispy, it's gay, kind of like whatever. But it's like the. It's that same like drove in his pig. Uh, uh, Chauvin is pig. Chauvin is pig. It's Lincoln. the same like pattern it's and that, emphasis. Yes, exactly. But it's got like more pock and more like this is so white. Gay. Ri- yeah, yeah. Okay, let's it keep is, going though. But we're never stopping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see that video of Shock G talking about the different rhyme schemes that everybody had? Probably. Did you ever see that? He's talking about. Uh, he's talking about like Humpty Hump and that, and he's like, you know, Humpty Hump comes from like. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that video. Yeah, we could do that video, but it's just Eminem. It's us talking about Eminem. Actually, yeah. I could kind of do it for any white rapper, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I could do it for, like, Mac Miller, too. I yeah, think. I like Mac. I don't know his stuff, like, super well Dude, like you do. I'm so jealous that you don't know his stuff, because mm. you can really get... I, I'm jealous when someone who I knew you... I know you would like that guy. You, you have the opportunity to really get yeah. into somebody. I, I actually have Blue a cool Mac Park. Miller story, too. What? I have a cool Mac Miller story. Me too. It's kind of a Kendrick story. Whoa. Um, Blue Slide just leave Park, it that. watching movies with the sound off. Mm-hmm. That's the one that I know Kids. pretty well. Kid, if you want to get into it, those are the three albums. The, watching movies God. I listened to pretty pretty religiously the year it came out, like front to back a yeah. million times. That was the last album I ever bought. Oh, really? Like physical album. Oh, that's was cool. the last one I ever bought. I have a cool Mac Miller story too, but you go. Okay. And, then I'll, and then I'll upstage you. I doubt it. Um, watch this shit. Uh, <laughs> so when I was in college, uh, I was I was like making like rap music videos and stuff. And a uh, a girl in my writing program was dating a dude named Dylan Rechtenwald, who goes by Dylan Reynolds, and he's Mac's childhood best friend and I think guitar player in his then band. Cool. So Small we were all world. hanging out one day, and uh, Small rule. Anyway, keep going. No, it's a valuable contribution. Do it again. <laughs> Small rule. What is that? Who's that? Mm-hmm. That's probably Eminem during the recovery era. Anyway. <laughs> so he, uh, we were hanging out, whatever, and I like showed him some of my stuff because like, I didn't really know the full context of who he was. I just knew it was my friend's musician boyfriend. So I show him my stuff. He's like, wow, this is really cool, dude. Like, do you mind if I show it to Mac? And I was like, I don't uh, fucking, I guess if you like wanted to show it to Mac. You he, and he, he showed it when they're on tour. Yeah. And uh, they were opening for Kendrick. So Kendrick was on the bus when they showed Whoa. him. So uh, he showed Kendrick as well. And then he messaged me on Facebook the next day. And it was he like goes, they both uh, thought they were, it was dope. They said it was dope. And he goes, uh, Kendrick said this boy can rap. Wow. And, and that, was, that was like right before swimming pools. Whoa. What is it? The braids? The braids? <laughs> Cutthroat business. You don't want to work with me? No. Okay. Oh, that's a good impression, too. It's like this. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? It's like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then, and, then, and, then, and then it gets angry. Impressions just get me, dude. Oh, if so I told fun. you the dark room. I have a Kendrick Lamar during the uh, those two, like the euphoria, not alike. Uh-huh. I have like Tourette's with that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll just be walking around. What is it? The braids? Cut the business. Yeah. Yeah, um, don't work with me no, no more. more. Okay. okay. That's the part that always yeah. sticks with me. Yeah, or or when he's like, yep, uh, yep. that's the sound for me of Kendrick is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or when he goes, uh, he do, goes, do, do, do. Uh, don't speak on a family, Crody. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. might get deep in a family, you get Crody. Deep in a family, Crody. You go, I could do uh, Cole a little bit too. Uh, let's hear it. <clears throat> let's fucking hear that. I will be amazed if okay, you can ready? do that. Okay, okay. Pressure. Okay, here pressure's we go. Here on. We go. Here we go. The pressure's on, idiot. <sighs> I'm burning my nose off. I'm turning the heat and they're burning the coat off. That's and look good. At the toe, right? it's something like that. Yes. Yeah. That's good. I'm trying to think. I need like a proper. Um, what's that song he talks about coming? Know that I was fronting. Oh, the, you know that one? the Wet Dream song? Yeah, the Wet I just hit it from my Spotify because I was like, I fucking hate this song. You hate that song. You hit I it from here. Lo- yeah, just keep. Because here's the thing. Spotify knows your hits and then whatever's out now. Right. So it plays Might Delete Later and then that fucking song. And I hate right. that song. You I don't like want to hear you later. losing your. Who's listening to that song more than once? 
Oh, that's oh, my favorite part. It's where he like, comes. Like, yeah. who's it is a weird song <laughs> so where you're insane. like, why are you, you're talking about how you like came early? Mm. I like it though. You know, it's like, it's fun to hear someone talking about something different. I ain't that isn't perfect. I'm working. I made a mistake. I ain't perfect. I'm working. It's like that. Yes. If president get. Whoa. Um, rap impressions is the clip. What's, what's the other one that comes to mind where he goes, uh, <laughs> go and ask the best what's rapper. What's no role at? models? No role models to speak for. Yeah. Talking about my memory, my memory. I didn't have one. <laughs> Searching through my memory, my Dude, memory. Dude, in that song when he's doing the fucking George Bush thing, and it's like, uh, he's like, fool me once, shame on me. Yeah. Can't get fooled again. Fool me once, shame, shame on you. Fool, fool me twice, twice can't put the blame, blame on you. Fuck fool the me peace three times, on. fuck the peace on. on. Load the chopper, let, let it rain, rain on you. Yeah. Yeah. So great. Who else can I kind of do it? Kinda yeah, do now it. I'm like, I want to hear them all. I got a Mac story. Here's my Mac yeah, story. Bro. When the first original stand was open, did I tell this story on the pod? When the first original stand was open, Nicole, do you know this story? When the on first original Street? stand was open, is that where it was? On third, on nineteenth and third. Yeah. Um, I went there because I would go there all all the time. I go there to New York, and I would go New York Comedy Club in the stand. I would go to all the time because they would just let you watch the shows and whatnot. Right. And the stand was like, I'm watching these shows because they're yeah. like comics that I'm listening to on the radio and stuff. Right. Uh, I thought it was cool. And I, uh, I don't, you, do you remember that that venue had like the seats like this and then would be the yeah. curtain right there. So the last table, I would usually sit right by the curtain because you're not like in the way and you're watching everybody. I watched a whole comedy show, like an hour and a half comedy show with Mac Miller and his current Get out. hot hit piece or whatever the fuck, she, whatever girl he was banging at the time. Well, they were sitting at the same table I was sitting at and we'd laugh and like look over at each other. Everyone, I mean, they were sharing moments more and I was kind of like trying to squeeze mm -hmm. my way into that. And I was like, right, you guys, <laughs> right, you guys. Hey, um, I think Very. I got an idea. Let's do some rapping. A hip, a scop, a scooby dee boo. Somebody makes a joke and you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mac, <laughs> so relatable. Malcolm, Macintosh. do you think that's funny? Do you think that's funny, Malcolm? He goes, yeah. You I go, me Mac, too. That's so you. I look, I look over. I look over. He's not laughing at something. I go, boo, that's not funny. That fucking sucks, dude. Why would you say that in front of Mac Miller? <laughs> this is Mac Miller right here. And that, and at the time, he was Mac Miller. Like, I don't think he was dating Ariana Grande yet, but he was like Mac Miller. I had like some weird little insights to that era of him too because one of my best friends growing up was this actress now named Liz Gillies and she's best friends with Ariana Grande they were on like a Nickelodeon show together wow and so she she would like tell me little shit about Adi uh, Ariana's dating life and oh. I heard I knew about that she little was hooking up with weasel. Mac Miller Should like we, way wait before. did you just say her full name they're celebrities and oh this okay, is like okay. common I was, knowledge I was like you know? uh, also what fucking <laughs> I can get sued no you can't Yes, you I can't, can. dude, you can do anything you want. Trust me, I am big. Nicole will tell you, I am big on saying full names on this pod. But I was doing Jim and Sam recently, and I said a full name, and they went, cut that. And I was like, why? And they were like, we can get sued. And I was like, wow. oh, all right. All right, well. so take it all out. Take everything out. No, no, no. If they're no, celebrities, no, 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 it's no, no, no. fine. You brought it up. <laughs> if they're celebrities, it's fine. Okay. So she was telling you, can you do Big Sean? Oh, God. Oh, God. That, that was, was kind of it, though. No, it wasn't. You what did he so? say? He goes, uh, I feel like he says that at the beginning of every song. What does song. he say? He has a thing. Is it that? I think it's, oh, oh God. Oh, God. What does he say? Nicole's looking. At, it's definitely typing as oh quick God. as she can. It's like, uh, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. I got no feelings to give. It's very, it's fine. It's yeah, like it's nothing. Fine. He does have kind of a unique voice, though, but it is. Yeah. Oh, he also does boy. 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 That's what I was looking yeah. for. Boy. Boy. Fuck yeah. That Kendrick, though, that was good. What else I got in the chamber? I got like other kind of more in the chamber. Like I could do Yellow Wolf, but that I don't only, even know what no, that would sound only, like. Even if you don't know, then nobody knows. Do but it. no, there's uh, put these crackers in a box. Ah, send them away. <laughs> shit like that, <laughs> dude. That was fucking crazy. I don't even know. Like I don't know. I rolled down the window in a Chevy and I listened to the critics, but they really wasn't saying she. Buddy, I'm a good motherfucker from Alabama Creek. You don't know who you're playing with. It's shit like that. Yeah, that's fucking cool, dude. Can you do a Sag Daddy to the God? Yeah, I was eating a taco burrito. Yeah, <laughs> that is something I'd rap about. Yeah, I was eating a taco burrito, and I thought, oh, neato. Mm -hmm. That's my feet smell. So I'm grabbing the I'm grabbing more Skeetles. 
Skeetles. I love Skeetles. I love Kit Kats. Magneto. Probably I, go there. Oh, yeah. Sure. Grabbing the metal heater like Magneto. Yes. I grab that metal like Magneto. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. You know what yeah. I like? When Eminem called a gun a toaster. You know what I'm talking Not about? Not just him. I mean, I know that's yeah. slang, but I like to... The first time I ever heard sure, that sure, sure, sure. was in that song. Um, what's that fucking... Uh, Grab the 40 outs, guzzle it. 40 outs, guzzle it. That D12 mm -hmm. song. Who's trying to be the first one to catch his blade in the throat? Oh, you know yeah, the yeah, Pope yeah. Woman let me, won't let me hold them toasters no more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just cut three people. You gonna be number uh -huh. four. If you don't get the fuck up, to get the fuck off the flow. That's one of my favorite, like things he'll do like the flows of his where it's like a little bit it's very loose and swingy and yeah. fun yeah when, it's very it's very swingy. like i will turn everything in the all over law office up that ain't tied down upside down yeah that's fucking yeah, great that's so i like when he would do shit where all the like every word in the whole thing like yeah. rhymed mm -hmm. what's that thing he did on the hip-hop uh the bet hip-hop city or whatever the fuck that was where he's like <sighs> uh where he's like, uh, I'm, I'm keeping it raw, illegal like Malik I'm and Jamal. I'm keeping it raw, illegal like Malik and Jamal. Like I don't believe, believe in, in the law. law. Like I'm Steve Seagal, flipping off the police, police while I'm leaping a wall. wall. I got you, silly, I got your little son. Hot. You'll be receiving no, a call. No, no, he goes flipping off the police and, and leaping a wall. I got uh, uh, take some Tylenol and, and fall, fall asleep in a mall. mall. I got yeah. your little son. You'll be, be receiving, receiving a call. call. Fuck y'all. You're lucky this little punk is still, still breathing yeah. at all. Oh, fuck the world. It's hard to get. I'll because never forget all it. All rhymes. Fuck the world. This is how I get even at y'all. No. Pop shit, then roll Don't out love. and leave, leave it a ball. ball. Yeah. Something like that. I love that the hand is like an essential you have to. both of you guys. You I just don't know that I can do it as well. And it's it's if you, literally the you, rhythm. You of, have to do it with the hand. You need it to lock or in. Or else you can't do the fucking. Yeah. What's another celebrity? This is fun. It's so fun. John Hamm. Um, I took John Hamm's hand and went down to the Meadowlands and. and, and <laughs> it's funny if he stutters. <laughs> I took John Sam's hand. hand. <laughs> I, I, I took John like, Ham by the hand and went down to the uh, Meadowlands and killed him with and put a mask over his head like the Klan. Uh huh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. There's a great one in that song with Busta where he says Penelope <laughs> Cruz developing boobs. That's uh, like a perfect <laughs> a, a celebrity <laughs> M name. Penelope Cruz developing boobs. I, I thought you were it. talking about the shit on the mic and do do my duty. No, when I got to fight. There's kind of a part like that in the new LL song. He's good in that too. That's that's a great song. I love that song. Where he goes, fuck, how does it go? You see that temporary music video? I couldn't watch it. What do you fuck? What do you mean? Uh, that's the Haley song. Yeah, I couldn't watch it, dude. Uh, I heard the song on that when I first listened to the. Are album, you connected to it? And the, do you get triggered by it? Falling, crying. The first time I listened to that song, yeah. I haven't listened to it once again. You, you should watch the fucking video. You want to cry? Watch that video. I saw a clip on Does it Instagram like or something. Connect where to you in a way that makes you cry. Yeah, something? yeah. I you mean, got something that like I got. I have. I have a lot of like M shit. Yeah, like what? So, eh. You don't want to get into it. Good, good. You yeah. don't have to get into it. All right. Um, what did you, your mama made you feel like you were sick? She put little fucking Vicodins in your, in your fucking salads, you queer. <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't know what part of that makes me a queer. <laughs> Just the fact well, that. was your mom putting Vicodins in your salad, you homo? While you were making hell your with a guy. Cake? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you you should watch it. I I know that you know you might have your own shit, but as an Eminem fan, and you are a big Eminem fan, oh. I'm almost as big as me. I might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think that as far as look at that, like you'll that's I think that's the big distinguishing thing about our fandom is that I do have a massive Eminem poster, but I didn't put it up; it's just under my bed. I don't. I'm not a huge buyer of stuff like that. Well, it does feel it does make you feel like a fucking homosexual. I think I, it's um, I think it's rapping is why I won't buy a bunch of M shit. Why? Because you don't want to be the rapper that's like a fanboy and like. Of course, I'm not gonna wear like a necklace. With a his Eminem name is on my it. singular favorite artist celebrity ever. Yeah, me too. But I, I also make music, and so I have literally force myself to just listen to other weird shit because yeah. I'm like I can't have that much influence from one guy. What, you think having a poster in your room is going to be a big influence? No, it's not that. And I like the shit. I love his aesthetic on stuff, too. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's you, you kind of can't even be uh, 
openly Eminem fan as a white rapper right. without people going like, this is the only hip hop you know. And it's not. So I don't like... Well, lucky for all those people, I don't really give a fuck. That's okay? true. So I'm going to keep is, making my music. You want it? Secret sauce. I'm going to keep making my shit. Keep keep dancing. Everything is with me is blessed. What's that? Keep making keep, me dance. Make, keep making my me hand. dance. Waving my, my hand. hand and there won't be no threat. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything with me is blessed. Everything with me is keep blessed. Making keep dance. making me dance. Waving wave my hand. And there won't be no threat. Yeah, there won't be no so threats. Um, okay, yeah. It's, I, um, you know what I want to tell you? I uh I watched your I watched Thin Lips. I texted you about it when I did. Yeah. But I also I still watch like all the clips that pop up because I I like you as a comedian a lot. Like you're one of my favorite comedians. Mm. Um, shut up. And y- there's maybe five people that I know that I'll watch their shit. And I hate that we you, don't watch Bill Cosby. Each other. You Cosby. Uh, Vince Champ. Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny G from the. Jersey Shore. Vinny Vidi Vici. Vinny Vidi Vici. Um, um, but sorry, what were you saying? No, I was saying that I, you know how many like comedians that like came to my premiere or just are my very close friends were like, I didn't watch it. Yeah, about mine. And I super get oh, that. about yours? I, yeah. And I super get it because I also don't watch it. My, a lot of my friends have made specials and I haven't watched them. But I'm like, why don't we just watch them? Like, I watch them. We should. I watch. We should watch them all. I watch them. I, I usually will watch how they open. And I'll watch how they close. I, you know, because I don't have that. Unless someone is really, really good, like just like on the level of like just really, really good, then I'll I'll watch their whole thing. But yeah. I usually don't have the, you know, mm. I don't have it in me to like sit through that and be. Like, I don't. Well, I don't look forward to stand up of any unless it's like Chappelle, Burr, Louis, Rock. If it's not one of those guys, I won't even watch a one second of a special. It's hard to find someone who's like at that next level really good. Like like in their career now? Yeah. Yeah. It's or even like you know, I was watching all the don't tells and I'm like they're fun, you know, whatever. People are good, whatever, whatever. But I was like I think I'm going to watch all the black people. Oh, <laughs> I was I only, like those people yeah. are way m- Yeah. Those people, those comics are like way more funnier and they just, it's, and, but they're not. I joke all the time. I'm like, the only good comedians are a black guy and me. (laughs) 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 I don't even agree. Like with me, I'm like, it's a black guy and that's kind of it. And every woman. (laughs) And every woman. Joven is big. Joven is big. Lincoln. Town car. Town car. Till it. Till it. Went, went over. over the bridge. <laughs> you could teach Eminem lyrics as nursery rhymes. Yeah. Well, there is that. Kids would love it. There right, is, is that. There? There's like a nursery rhyme CD where they're like, it's nursery, but it's Eminem songs. Was it you who did like a TikTok or something where it was like, kids bop be like? <laughs> oh, no. Is that no, like, it was probably uh, somebody else. Super funny, but it's just like, it's it, they do the Kendrick. Uh, oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I also mm-hmm. saw one. This was years ago. I saw one that was uh, NWA, and it was like, there was a sketch from like England or something, and it was uh, a guy in a car with his wife and his child. And he's like, you know what today is? And she's like, no. And he's like, it's NWA day. And she's like, not with the kid in the car. And he goes, I got this. I got this. And he'll like mute it every time it curses. Yeah. And I have that memorized. His his version. Mm-hmm. So now, whenever I hear it, I'm like, it's like he goes like, "Help the police coming straight from the underground. Yeah. A young man's got it good because I'm brown and not the other color. So police think they have the authority to fill out inquiries. That's funny, you know. <laughs> but not the other color. So police think they have the authority to kill a minority. Fuck yeah. that shit, because oh. I ain't the one okay. for a punk motherfucker with a badge and a gun Cook. to get. Beaten on and thrown in jail. You can go toe to toe in the middle of a cell. Fucking with me, cause I'm okay. a teenager with a little bit of gold and a pager. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, pagers. selling narcotics. Timely. <laughs> um, you want to know? I don't feel like I shouldn't say. That. I, don't, I don't care. Um, and you always do sometimes. You ever like just publicly in a silly mood? Oh, that's how I live. Yeah, you're just alone and you're just like entertaining yourself. And oh yeah, I do. There's a like a little one, two, three market next to where I live, and so I'll go in and I'll get coffee. And there's just there's this Korean dude. He's like probably our age, and he just like whatever. He just chats with me a little bit. And I can tell he's like trying to just you know be accommodating, whatever. And so I when I leave, I go stay black. And it's so funny to watch him react to he's that. Like, ah. it's, well, no, because he because he he doesn't see the irony or joke in it. 
<laughs> so he just goes like he I can see that he wants to say, but I'm Korean and you're white. <laughs> like I can see that he's like troubled by it. And I just want to leave him with that. He's like, hey man, before you come into my store, um I'm Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways. I can't I can't do this bit without getting racist. Look it's hard. It's hard. Do you have anything to plug? Your special? Yeah. Uh my special is called Wolf Pup. And it's on YouTube. It's free. Check it out. And Why do you call it? And that's the hat, and you got that's the, the hat. shoes. That's Where does tat- that come from? Tattoo. So, um, I I wanted to draw comic books when I was a kid, and I did that for, until I started doing stand up. And I started at seventeen, so I was going to go to school of visual arts to draw comics. And this was the symbol for the character that's I cool. made up. Thanks, dude. It's if you look close, Falcon's head in between the yeah wolf ears. And everybody comes up to me and goes, "Oh, is that motocross? Is that fox?" It does look I like. I know. I hate that it does. <laughs> and then why I've actually you... drawn another one, but it was too late. Well, too you late. could just stop. No, nah. moving with this theme. No, that's it forever. Even in the past. No, I don't it's believe. Got to be on hats that you barely wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like so accurate and personal, <laughs> but like not offensive, but just also I mean, just very... like on your head. It's like up up here <laughs> that you barely wear. Yeah, you're like the way you wear hats. You're like this is like <laughs> I can't even do it. Nick has a hat on. It's like that. You could literally like throw a fucking. It's like fucking Timmy Turner. It's just yeah, orbiting. Exactly. Timmy Turner did have a hat. Anyway, check out your special. Check it out, Wolf Pup. Instagram. Yeah, let's do another episode, actually. We're going to do a whole fucking another Let's do another episode. We're going to do it in Spanish. Hasta luego. Hola. Hola. Como estas? Como estas, bitch? (laughs) Como estas, bitch? Uh, Hey, do you concern yourself with, like, cursing on these with YouTube? Are you going to get monetized even if I say, bitch, fuck, cunt, slut, (laughs) shit like that? Is it still going to happen? You know what I do all the time? Are you still going to get that cash in that? You know what I do all the time? I go, people just don't. People just don't see, you know that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like that. He has Eminem has that little moment in between the rap superstar. People just I didn't know it. I didn't see. It. I didn't see until I was actually in it. What it was supposed to be. You see someone slap hands with him. You know. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you just been through. That's you, kind of your favorite Eminem is the like drugged out young one where he's like, you know, like people. Oh, really- dude, that video of him when he's like 22 yeah. and he's like. He's got like, he's like so skinny. He just dyed his hair and he's like, he's like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. 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 That's so good. It's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, so good. <laughs> that whole shit. Where That's like, so good. I, he still does that. He still. Yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you want to do, you can do. Right. If you don't want to listen to this, you don't have to listen to it. Yeah. Right? That's so good, dude. Yeah. It's so and, good. And now it's a lot of like. Oh yeah. But he's still got fucking crazy eyes. Yeah, dude. He's. Oh, he's. God, I can't believe we just talked about another man for a whole hour. I had a strong feeling this would be this episode. (laughs) All right. Well, thanks for coming. Check out Nick. Nick Callis on everything. We love you very much. Public apology, Nicole. He's apologizing. As a fellow Eminem fan, I can forgive. Nicole loves Eminem. She got you. No more Who doesn't? A lot of people. All right. Take it easy. Bye. The Rap Jack Black and Sag Daddy, I'm back at it with a fantastic podcast for your asses. Yapping in a trap like a rescue cat, and the rescued up like they're waiting on the Batman. You tuned into the dude who threw booze back, blacked out, woke up drunk, covered in bruises. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, an odd fellow, the great white chubby, I'm becoming a marshmallow. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so sit back and relax, cause like a broken arm, I got a cast now. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, you made a good choice, so enjoy, don't be annoyed, now here's my dumb voice. So recognizable, scheme as a Unreliable diary of a guy who's higher than a freaking diamond board I'm tired, call me Biden, you as like cause you were lying with your wardrobe Give that back, you ain't that guy, bro Kaleidoscope stripping, goddamn, I'm tripping Sipping shroom tea, looking at a blank television Got a girl here gripping, thinking we'll do some business But that's the last thing that I want Seriously Big dog, I'm on shirts now Still scared that my house is gonna burn down I'm a rare card, an old Charizard Getting BJ's on a bench of a promenade Don't know what to do, I got a lot of problems Lot of emotional truths, I have some menage I'm getting robbed every time I get a coffee Cause six bucks is just too much uh. Dream team, me and Galeen and 
the four Beatles Kidnapping whores illegally Pumping them full of needles Eating Chinese till Stephen asks us to order a pizza Want to run to get it, I can't do either It's Sag Daddy the Pod, don't think twice Just bob your head, dealing your chicken with no rice It's Sag Daddy the Pod, and on God I won't stop Unless I wanna, that's kinda the deal, huh? It's Sag Daddy the Pod, no need to deviate Your ears are not the only holes and I'm about to penetrate It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so thanks for tuning in Truman Show Flow, if I don't see you, you can suck my dick